Bejju Baba. Yes, Baba. Ready? Smile. Smile, please. That's it. Perfect. Saying so, Sami pressed the button of the camera and captured Bejju Baba sitting under his favorite tree. Baba asked eagerly, "But what will you do with my photo, son?" Sami replied. At Lavya had learnt archery by practicing in front of the statue of Dronacharya. I will practice music in front of your photo. Bejju Baba felt pleased to hear this. He had not seen such devotion in any other child at this tender age. He loved the boy for his keen desire to learn music. It was a memorable day for him. Because he had finally found a true disciple, Bejju Baba told Samir, "Your sincerity and devotion has touched my heart. I will teach you music, but you will have to take permission from your parents first." Really? asked Samir jubilantly. "Don't worry about the permission. My parents will agree. I'm sure." Saying so, Sami touched the feet of his teacher and ran happily towards his home. Sami had got acquainted with Baba only recently. His family had shifted to the colony only a month ago. Bejju Baba lived under a tree outside the colony gates. He used to sing devotional songs in a melodious voice while playing an ikdara. A huge crowd gathered there each evening to listen to his songs. He lived contentedly on whatever he got as offerings. When Samir had heard Baba for the first time, he was so impressed that he decided to learn music from him. At first, Baba refused, but seeing the devotion of the child. He agreed to teach him music. Samir was very happy as he ran back home to inform his parents. He called out from outside, "Mummy, Bajju Baba has finally agreed to teach me music." But his mother wasn't pleased to hear this. She said, "If you seriously want to learn music, we will arrange a qualified music teacher for you." I will not let you go to that Baba. Samir's father was listening to the conversation. He asked his wife, "What's wrong with Samir uh, going to Bajju Baba for learning music?" She replied, "We don't know him well. If something adverse happens, what will we do?" Samir's father answered calmly. I know that Baba is a decent man. Last evening he returned my wallet, which I had accidentally dropped while passing by him. I've also seen children playing around him. He never tries to shoo them away, and rather enjoys their company. Knowing all this, I think it will be safe for my son to learn music from him. You don't have to worry at all," Samir's mother replied. "Okay, I'm sorry for judging Bajju Baba like that. Samir, you can go to him to learn music." Thus, from the very next day, Samir's music lessons started early in the morning. Samir always listened to Baba attentively and practiced accordingly. His aim in life now was to be a great musician. His parents supported him and blessed him from the core of their hearts. One day, Samir heard of a singing competition being organized in his school. He decided to take part in it and increased the time of his practice. Bajju Baba told him. You have practiced honestly and sincerely, my boy. You have my blessings. You will surely get success. On the day of the competition, Sami reached the venue with his parents. All the children participating in it performed well. 
When his turn came, Samir sang in a melodious voice, full of emotions, and left the audience spellbound. Samir was selected as the winner of the competition, and his face beamed with joy. He could not wait to share this news with Baba. On reaching home, Samir went straight to see Beju Baba with his trophy. His smile vanished when he saw that the tree under which Baba lived was cut down and he was nowhere to be seen. He asked around and discovered that the area was being cleared down to develop a new marketplace. He searched for Baba everywhere but couldn't find him. He was so deeply affected by his absence that he even stopped practicing music. Many days passed. One day, while he was sitting at his doorstep, Samir suddenly heard the sound of an iktara. The memory of Beju Baba flashed in his mind and he rushed towards the direction of the sound. To his surprise, he saw the Baba was coming towards him playing his iktara. Samir ran to him and hugged him. Tears of joy were rolling down his eyes when he asked, Where have you been, Baba? I searched for you everywhere. <laughs> My son, you are never without me. I always live in your voice. Whenever you sing from your heart, you will find me within yourself. Beju Baba replied affectionately. Samir kept staring at him with love. Suddenly, the spell broke and he realized that it was just a dream. I am in your voice. Whenever you sing, you will find me within yourself. These words were still echoing in his mind. Samir decided to continue singing and keep Baba's memory alive. One day, his music will unite him with his teacher. With this thought, he bowed before the photo of Beju Baba and picked up his harmonium.